Hi, I'm Christian. And I'm Dima. So I'm Eva. I'm Georges. Je suis Tehej. Sono Martina. And for the next few minutes, we'd like to share with you the different paths you can take as a bioengineer here at Imperial. Whether you are specialized in engineering or graduated in sciences, Imperial offers six different options for your next step as a postgrad. If you're fresh out of an undergraduate in engineering, the MSc in Biomedical Engineering is a one-year full-time course with four different streams to choose from. Biomaterials, Biomechanics, Neurotechnology, or Medical Physics. Or if your background is more in the sciences, the Engineering for Biomedicine MSc program can offer you a more science-based experience in order to prepare you for a career in bioengineering. And last but not least is the MSc Human and Biological Robotics for exploring how the latest in robotic technology can help revolutionize healthcare. You know, Martina, we have five minutes until our next class. Do you want to tell us a bit about what you do? Of course. The Human and Biological Robotics MSc is a one-year full-time course covering a variety of subjects, including robotics, rehabilitation systems, and artificial intelligence. What makes this program special is it draws on knowledge from several fields, and modules are taught by different departments, including bioengineering, computing, and even the Dyson School of Design Engineering. My course mates and I were pretty busy first semester with courses and exams, but now research projects have started where we'll apply what we've learned to research. For example, my research project consists in improving the control of a 3D printed prosthetic limb to provide users with a better experience with the bionic arms. And who knows, your project just might inspire the next generation of robotics in healthcare. Be that, George! Even if you don't have an engineering background, you can still join the Department of Bioengineering. In the MSc Engineering for Biomedicine program, me and my classmates who are actually graduated from different life sciences degrees, such as biology, biomedical sciences, or even medicine, explore how to use and apply our skills and knowledge in the world of medical engineering. Our modules range from fundamentals of bioengineering and statistical and computational methods to even more specialized and optimized topics such as biomimetics and regenerative medicine. And what we learn actually empowers our research for our individual projects that we have. For my project, I'm recording the LPTC of brains of insects. And one of the main aims of this bio-inspired research is to learn how insects use optic flow for gaze and flight control. As we've learned from the pandemic, we need to gather as much as brain power as we can get in order to address the healthcare needs of our world. This is why engineering for biomedicine is such a great choice. The only choice. <laughs> and finally, the MSc in Biomedical Engineering allows us to tackle challenges in modern healthcare whilst collaborating with students from around the world. And with four different streams, this program allows you to explore a broad range of different topics covered in core modules taken by all biomedical engineering students and specialized modules which are unique to your stream. I'm on the biomaterials stream which is jointly offered by the Department of Materials. It focuses on subjects like tissue engineering, regenerative medicine, biomaterials and biomimetics. If you imagine creating new tissues or tailoring new implants or new materials for biomedical devices, then biomaterials is the perfect stream for you. And I'm on the Neurotechnology stream, which features a variety of different topics, ranging from computational neuroscience to brain-machine interfaces. This would be a great stream if you're looking to go into neuroprostheses or treatments for neurological disorders. You might also consider the Biomechanics stream. If you love to learn more about the mechanics of human joint motion or the flow of physiological fluids, then the Biomechanics stream is a great fit for you. And finally, Medical Physics is a fourth option for specializing in Biomedical Engineering program focusing on radiotherapy, clinical imaging, and image processing. This path explores the physical principle behind different image modalities essential for a career in the healthcare sector. Another exciting element is the individual project, where you'll have the opportunity to expand upon what you learn and also interact with a great range of researchers. For instance, my project is based on the development of a device for pediatric patients with leish nyhan syndrome. And for my project, I'm working with the Gudger Research Group on testing and developing different perspiration management solution for prosthetic liner. The Department of Bioengineering enjoys several facilities across two London campuses, South Kensington and White City, for learning and research. Your project will give you the opportunity to work in state-of-the-art laboratories with highly skilled and dedicated staff. 
Imperial's resources for medical innovation allow for a great wealth and variety of possibilities, empowering research that's globally relevant even today. My research project, for example, explores the power of AI to interpret the results of lateral flow device tests for COVID-19. A more authoritative approach using computational analysis could greatly encourage the uptake of routine COVID-19 testing, thereby contributing to the global effort to end the pandemic. And artificial intelligence is just one of many innovations you might explore at Imperial. For instance, my research project is on developing a microneedle patch for the diagnosis of cutaneous leishmaniasis. This could potentially be a cost-effective and painless alternative to the current diagnostic methods. Whatever your interests may be, be it joining groundbreaking research teams in biomechanics, or pushing what's possible with newest generation of materials, we hope to very soon be extending our warmest Benvenuti! Hello, Sorisma! Welcome to, to Imperial, Imperial College, College London! London. Alright. There it is! <laughs>